Hi there everybody, welcome to this channel and this new training playlist of Teskifet technology. Welcome to this uh, to this um, this channel to be honest. Thank you very much for, for being watching this. Um, just wanted to provide you a little introduction about my background and I think that it can provide you with confidence that what you're gonna see here it's something experience based and, and you can learn about it. Um, I'm, I am a QA engineer professional with experience in different IT er in, in different IT areas. But to be honest, I, I think that I have my my place in quality assurance. There is the place where I feel comfortable. So, so yeah. <laughs> I just another warning that I want to say is that I'm not a native speaker. Uh, I'm actually from Costa Rica. It, my language is Spanish, but I'm doing my best. I hope that you can understand and please forget me if you see a lot of language mistakes. <laughs> it is going to be normal. So, yeah. So, all right. So, just to start with Test Cafe, I just wanted to cover some theory that you probably know, but I just want to have all clear before this we start to code. It is also going to be helpful for people that is just starting with this technology. And so, so let's start. So basically what is Test Cafe? It is an Node.js tool to automate end-to-end -end web testing. And it is one of the variety of tools that we have in market right now. For example, we have Selenium, we have, um, I don't know, Cypress. I, we have a lot of things right now to automate. Uh, and to end testing but we're gonna cover and focus on this on this topic right now test cafe works in all the popular environments that we have currently in the market windows mac os and linux it supports desktop mobile and remote uh, browsers for example browser stack we can see and actually i'm gonna try to integrate browser stack in in this tutorial playlist and I hope that you can find it useful. <laughs> All right, what um, as we can see here, it is very easy to set up the environment. We do not need a web driver or any other testing software. We just have to have um, Node.js installed. And after we have it, we can install TestCafe with this command here, npm install dash e TestCafe. And another thing that is important is that it is free and open source. Um, yes, so in the next video, we're gonna you say what is the what how to install it. I'm gonna try to uh, cover step by step uh, that that scenario, so don't worry about it. And we're gonna see it in a video, all right? We have some key features here, for example. Um, so the first one is create a stable test, and it says that we don't need manual manual timeouts, All right? It is actually true. Test Cafe has uh, some asynchronous, uh, actually all the the actions that we can, uh, that we would trigger in the scripts are based on asynchronous uh, actions. So basically it has kind of um, implicit way there and that's why it says that we don't need manual timeouts. However, to be honest, there are situations and a lot of situations that we need explicit weights or timeouts. So just wanted to, to let you know that and we're gonna see how we can mix them to have excellent results, right? The next feature, feature is that we can write in latest JS or TypeScript. To be honest, we're gonna be using JS here, basically with uh, ECMAX script, the latest uh, updates, the latest standards. And as we can see here, all another feature is that it detects JS errors in your code. So as as it says, when a test script uh, sees that a web page has console errors, it is gonna fail immediately. However, as you may know also in, in real life, we have a lot of uh, issues and it might be counterproducent. It might, I don't know, 
we can disable this for for testing uh, purposes right yeah so another thing here is that we can launch concurrent tests um, we can run parallel tests and which is gonna decrease the test execution time yep another feature here is that we can implement the page object model as you may see here um, we're gonna talk about it in the future videos we're gonna implement a kind of page object pattern and we're gonna see how this cafe works with it so stay tuned and subscribe <laughs> another thing is that we can include test in tests in continuous integration systems to be honest I, I'm gonna try to set up uh, the environment with Jenkins and and I hope that I can show you how to mix them to have a, a good environment with CI and tr with CI CD implementation right right and um, all right I have another page here that it is called how it works and I have some keys that some points that, that I want to tell you for example it is based on client server architecture basically uh, the test code written by the user is going to be executed by the node.js environment on the server side so as I told you before that's why the, the actions are going to be asynchronous and it is that is quite actual that's why actually we don't need uh, web drivers like uh, if we compare it with selenium since it's gonna open up the web browsers uh, with node so it is very interesting and that, and that that's very that's one of the key features of test cafe see um, there is another key or something interesting that you may notice when you're scripting it's gonna be uh, opening the urls that we that we want to test with a proxy at the top of the url so basically this cafe runs a reverse proxy under the hood and it proxies the tested page on the server and injects the script into its co code as as we can see here with this cafe we can inject some scripts or some libraries that we need in our page let's say I don't know user roles for a smart authentication or I don't know something like jQuery to hide an element to scroll down an app I don't know a lot of things that we can cover with uh, the script injection so it is something that you must know let me see what else that's another feature that I think it is important it's already test each test starts with a clean browser state cookies and storage are reset an empty user profile is used and tested page is reloaded basically it is very important each um, instance of a test is going to be totally clean and it's going to avoid a lot of issues that we may have in the in the way let me see what else it is important here we have the test cafe api with it is where we can perform options where we can execute exer assertions it is an interesting topic that we're going to cover in this video or actually in the future videos the, here we have two examples uh, expect input uh, that exist and if it is okay it is going to return uh, true and it is going it is it is not going to fail and we have also the select elements which is how we can deal with selectors it is going to be and another video totally dedicated to different ways to implement the selectors and this kind of stuffs mm -hmm, right there is another uh, interesting feature the custom client side code we can actually implement client side code with uh, this specific uh, syntax so basically we can return for example the window that location dot href which is gonna be the URL of some element so that's why we can we can play with custom client side code and I think that that's it I hope that you can enjoy this playlist I'm gonna be 
uploading videos with different topics about this cafe for example we have here different uh, a guide a complete guide of all the topics that we have and i hope that i can cover s as many of them as i can so guys thank you very much for watching this video uh, please subscribe if you want to see more of this more of automation in this channel and stay tuned thank you very much goodbye